Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Automation with Arnav. Hope you guys are doing very well. Today I will discuss about some very interesting thing on mobile automation using APM. So in this current days, it's very necessary that one that sometimes we have not sometimes we have lot of applications during testing we find out that one we have to automate the SMS. Why SMS is required? Suppose you are automating any way. particular application and it has to be tested through otp also there is a feature is that when you enter the password or after entering the mobile number there will be sms will come to that phone that particular device and you have to read that uh, sms to uh, to get the otp how you will implement that one through automation sometimes we are facing lot of challenges so apm and the ui automator to driver has very good feature for that one not only that one there is another feature also that another feature is there we get that that is notification we are getting lot of notification and we have to there is a earlier i also have faced lot of times that one there is a blocker also we found out that one <coughs> to fetch the notification when you are doing a particular testing or end to end testing for a particular application okay because most of the application these days they are sending notifications and also another thing very interesting thing i will show you the third one that is how to check the battery performance okay so if suppose you are testing any application after uh, uh, running off suppose you have you are testing on a particular device and on your application for last one hour for some sort of test cases or bulk test cases after that you can check that one how much battery is draining you can check the battery status also these three interesting thing i will discuss in this video today okay first let's start so first what i did that one and this is also interesting thing i am using visual studio code okay this is also a very good id i found that one we can use for java code also mostly i have seen that people are using visual studio code for java script okay or node js related thing but now i am starting using visual studio code for java code also it's very interesting you can see very good color coding and everything is that it's very good i am very impressed on this one so i thought that i should use this one to create this video so what i did that one i am using apm2 as a server okay apm2 is running you can show yeah it's running now okay my device is connected you can see my device okay and this is the thing what i am doing i am using java and testing gi for test i have added the desired capabilities the platform name automation name device details and for me i have added as i told you first time that one i need to i will fetch the sms so i have to add the sms app sms is also an application right in your phone which is coming by default as i installed one we cannot delete also that one so i am fetching that one that uh, giving the app package and app activity details here for the sms app and the server details okay after that here is the interesting thing okay so to fetch those details we have to use some interesting thing you have to we have to use execute script which is very common when we are using web automation using selenium but rarely we are using when we are doing the mobile app, app automation using apm but here i am going to use execute script this one i'll uh, trigger as a, i will pass as a script javascript okay using javascript executor i'll uh, trigger this one so these are the things okay these are the coming from ui automator driver okay so you can you pass this one mobile colon list sms and after that you can pass two parameters what is that parameters how many sms you want to read okay so i am giving first parameter as max and the value is key is max and the value is 10 okay and this one i have to pass as a immutable map okay so this is very interesting thing so if this is optional if you have to pass if you want you can pass or you can you, it's not a requirement okay so based on the documentation you have to find out this one okay it is required or not required okay so not all the time you can see i'll show you later that uh, uh, it's a optional thing okay so for this one also it's optional it's not required 
okay so let's run so you can see it's a very easy one just one line okay you have to pass and you have to trigger this one as uh, using javascript executor let's run this one okay triggered so here you can click here so to run the test it will automatically identify just like other id and in the debug console i can see so see it's fetched the sms okay it is coming as a json first sms is came from aadhar i have a sms in my phone that is came from the aadhar okay what is the date read one details all these things this is the body otp is there don't read these things okay <laughs> i'm just kidding okay and the details of the sms so last 10 sms it fetched okay so it's very important so that you can easily automate this feature so if you have if you have as a option that uh, it, it will send the otp and you have to read that otp to con to log in or to validate something so you can easily you can do this one using apm now these days in android phone it's very easy so that's why i thought that i should show you guys so this is the thing okay. next thing is that i'm just commenting on this one next point is as i was mentioning that one so this one okay yes to fetch the notifications okay first i'm showing in my phone so these are the notifications you can see oh sorry so that you can see one example that one tomorrow in Croydon what is the uh, weather is that other thing is you can see that one okay email is there some email or Google notification is there email notification is there. a lot of notifications you can see in my phone now I am trigger I will trigger same thing I'm not doing anything mobile and after that the methods these are all methods actually all Android UI automator methods okay using the mobile this as a we have to pass as a argument you can say okay and we have to trigger this thing using execute script okay let's run this one so whatever the notification is there in your phone you, it will fetch all the notifications you can see it fetched all there are a lot of notifications is there at my phone so that's why it is showing this all the notifications okay so you can see I just showed you guys that there is uh, weather notification is also there you can see title tomorrow in Croydon mostly cloud big title is tomorrow in Croydon mostly cloud and all these things so I'm showing you guys one more time you can see here tomorrow in Croydon mostly blah 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 all this all the notifications you can see which what is the app name and all these things you can see everything here okay from here it came and all the details so it all it is also very interesting thing if your app has an option that it will trigger the notifications and you have to test that one usually the notification and all these things we are testing manually but now with this feature you can automate that feature also so that you can give a very good coverage okay from automation side and next is that this is only that battery info so it will show you the battery status I have triggered so it is giving me two options level one and state is five okay so what is the meaning of these things I am showing you guys what is the meaning of these things Oops. So battery status one means five means that it's uh, five is means that battery status is full okay and if it is minus one then means that it is actually it cannot retrieve from the system okay five means my battery status is full you can see it's hundred percent my battery status okay you can read from these things what is the battery status details and from that one okay level and state so these are the thing let me check if any other information if i can show you guys or not yes 
battery set as full means it's five okay and state and there is another one is level level means is that it's from one to zero dot five one means it's hundred percent charged okay one means so these are the information these are the three very key thing i found that one i have also encountered a lot of times that people are asking me that if you can do the as i mentioned that one the otp feature to read the sms okay if your phone is connected it is coming to your particular device you can do that one with this feature and also the notification part and the battery also so that it will help you to test the if your app is uh, causing the battery drain or battery or uh, anything all these things okay there are also a lot of things as there for android phone specifically if you want if you need any help on that one please do a comment on this video uh, that if you need any particular things you want to test it is required for your testing like that device info or to accept the alert dismiss the alert lot of features is there if you need all those methods how to work and how you if you need any particular thing you can do a comment on this one as i'm mentioning one more time okay and if you find this one is useful for you please do a comment also and if you like this video please uh, press the like button and if you are not sub if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe that one and please share this video with others thank you